And the reason that it's such a good indicator of water quality is that these little guys stay in one place for their whole life cycle, or their portion of the life cycle in the water. And so they can't run away from pollution, you know? Mm -hmm. If they're there, that's an indicator that that water quality is at the level that is they're tolerant to. So they're a very good indicator of water quality. In taxonomy, you actually identify a critter down to genus and species level to know kind of how tolerant they are to water. And in this one here, it says group one taxa, pollution sensitive organisms found in good quality water. So these particular critters can only survive in really healthy water. It's a little bit generalized, but that's the idea of sampling for macroinvertebrates to measure water quality. And then there's a group two taxa, and the group two is um, somewhat pollution tolerant. So it's good to fair quality water. And then group three, these are pollution tolerant organisms. So they can live in any range of the water, good quality water to fairly polluted water.